Adeboye, others will face persecution for violating Twitter ban, says Laya Mohammed. The Minister of Information and Culture, Laya Mohammed, says the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Abu Bakr Melami, has the prerogative to decide who to persecute for violating Twitter ban, including Pastor Enoch Adeboye and Pastor Williams Komoye. Both Adeboye of the Reading Christian Church of God and Kumuyi of the Deeper Life Bible Church have been tweeting on defiance of the Twitter ban in the country. But Mohammed, in an interview with BBC African Focus on Monday, responding to the question about Adeboye's violation of the ban, insists that Twitter threatens the corporate existence of Nigeria. He said, the Attorney General has made it clear that if anyone violates the regulation, that such person will be persecuted. I think it's the right of the Attorney General to decide who to persecute, he said. The Nigerian government has suspended indefinitely the operation of Twitter in the Nigerian because of the persistent use of the platform for activities that are capable of undermining the Nigerian's cooperative existence and the government. Also directed the National Broadcasting Commission to immediately commence the process of licensing all social media operations in Nigeria. He also added during the interview. On Saturday, the Minister of Justice ordered the arrest and persecution of anyone found using the social media platform. Adeboye, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, However, tweeted on Monday, despite the ban on micro plugging site Twitter by the Nigerian government. Adeboye, who, defi who defied the ban, described tweeting as being in accordance with Article 9 of the Union, uh, UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Kumuhi, who also defied the ban on Monday, said tweet, tweet shared on his page are targeted at the global audience in more than five continents and over 100 nations. In view of the Twitter ban in Nigeria, please note that the content shared on this handle is targeted at the global audience in more than five continents and over, over 100 nations, and we share the content from any of these locations. A lot of Nigerians have reacted to this. The first person I have here said the government should focus on more important things in the country, like Boko Haram, bandits, kidnapping, killings. The government is losing its focus every day, and that is not good. <laughs> now, wow. So the Attorney General decides who to be persecuted. No wonder terrorists and bandits in the north are working freely. Fulani hexmen are killing in their hundreds. Nobody is questioning them. What a country. Let Melami persecute Papa Deboye and Kumuyi if we will not set Nigeria on fire. Stupid government. <laughs> Someone just dropped that. There is nothing that is more threatening to the corporate existence of Nigeria than the widespread killing being carried out in the Middle Belt and South by the, for by the foreign Fulani killers. This government is a slut. They flex muzzle against harmless citizens, but hide before criminals. You are too old for this. At your age, you are supposed to be sensible and not insensible. Old men change their lifestyles. God is our supreme, not any human. I wonder, it is known that old wine tastes better, but this set of old wines are regrettable and a shame to the, nature, to the nation. This administration is very unreasonable. Twitter has a policy. Buari tweeted a, something against their policy. They deleted it and he wants to deprive millions of Nigerians from tweeting. He should build enough prison now. Lai Muhammad is becoming a tool in the hand of the oppressors. This is ignorant at its peak. Individuals and business with global audience cannot be banned from internet. What you understand is that Nigerian government they are insensitive to the cry of the people. The killing, the banditry, the terrorism, the kidnapping, full and enhanced men, non-gone men, you can keep measuring all the atrocities that have been happening in the country. For over a period of time now, it has, they didn't even bother to attend to those issues, looking for a way to bring peace in the country. All they just focus on is to ban Twitter. Their problem now is social media, B.
before the attorney general persecute Adeboye and the rest, they should first of all go and persecute those Fulani headsmen. Gumi is telling them that they have good bandits. They should um, persecute both the good and the bad bandits before coming to, or before looking for who to persecute. They should attend to those issues that are threatening to the economy of Nigeria. Well, all the comments here are good enough to make the old crop of cow have a rethink. The world have seen this mess we have been in. And then they should come to our rescue. Hello guys, I would like to drop it here. Please drop your comment in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the notification button. Thank you very much for stopping by. I do really appreciate it.